What up champions, in today's video I'm going to show you why you should keep doing your push-ups and the reason is very simple, you need to develop this muscle. See, this right here, this is the serratus anterior muscle right here, boom, goes like this and uh, the girls, they love it, you know, so if you want to, if you want to get the girls, you need this muscle. You also need this muscle if you want to be good in pressing. And if you're an athlete, if you're freaking playing in the American football or something, you need good military press, you need good overhead pressing, you're doing some boxing, so you need serratus anterior. And if you're training calisthenics, you need that serratus anterior. Besides getting the ladies, you need it for the plunge. So this is protraction. You see, so the opposite is retraction, pulling my shoulder blades completely together right now. But the opposite of this is bringing them forward long. So this is, ah, this is called protraction. And uh, in the planche, this is responsible because it really helps us a lot with the shoulder angle as well. Because if I'm holding the planche, let's say in a retracted scapula position, look at this and, and let's say my center of mass is about here at the waist. So hands have to be under this center of mass. Look at this angle. This is like, this is a lot of bicep work right here. But if I protract the press correctly, see the shoulder angle right now, boom. Now this is the shoulder angle responsible for the planche. So you see much uh, less lean. So you either have this or this. So if you have good protraction, if your shoulder is in a stable position, close to your waist, depressed like this, boom, and you feel the sensation right here, and you're able to maintain this position with doing a push-up, boom. Oh shit, this is what <laughs> we need for, for pressing strength. So if you have good retraction, you have it helps you have better pulling strength. Guys with the best pulling strength have amazing retraction. So if you want to have amazing pressing strength, guess what? You need good protraction. How do we develop good protraction? Well, certainly not with, I've seen some exercise against the wall with rolling some stuff like the whatever it is. Like you need to do something intense. So you need to do some horizontal pressing because that's where gravity usually forces our shoulders to go back. So. Not really bench press, because bench press is done in a retracted position. So bench press is not really going to help you with strengthening your serratus anterior. But the push-up, the push-up is the exercise. The protracted push-up right here. Push-up without losing the scapula position. And for everybody who's a power lifter, if you learn how to do a protracted push-up and get better at them, you will get greater deltoid development and it will improve your bench press as well. So great stuff. So the protracted push-up right here. And if you can do three sets of five easily, then you're like Dominic, this shit is too easy. Well, if you can do three sets of five with scapula position like this, like not changing at all. Most of the people watching this video, you won't be able to do this standing up like this. So if you can do this three by five, you can add a little bit of lean forward, boom, planching it a little bit. And then if this is too easy, the next best variation is, ooh. The next best variation is the tuck planche push-up. So tuck planche push-up I really like because it's not a lot of lean there. So it doesn't involve a whole lot of bicep strength and you won't, you don't have to be afraid of getting an elbow to the nines or something from doing too much of it. So the lean is very little, but the intensity on the, on the deltoids and on the serratus anterior is freaking crazy because it's your whole body weight that you're pressing up and down. So this would be like the top of the food chain uh, exercises for improving your protraction. But for ge in general, if you want to have good pressing strength, you need to be doing some horizontal pressing, you need to be doing some push-ups. Whether on the floor, and you need to do some protracted push-ups, let me be very specific about this. This is just not gonna cut it, even if it's full range of motion, you know? So I'm not saying, oh Dominic, you have to do all my push-ups in protraction, because I want to get like, you, know, you want to get three sets of 100 push-ups. I know barbarians do cra crazy amount of push-ups. Zaz Zaccavelli, he goes on the bar, he, can, he does like 160 reps in a row without stopping, you know, so in that case, the scapula position is definitely not perfectly protracted. But here we're talking about training for strength. We're talking about training specifically for the advanced calisthenics elements or for just improving your pressing strength. So in that case, make sure to add that protracted push-up. And then if you want to get crazy good at push-ups, you can continue with all the variations you like and you can continue to do those. But make sure to include three sets of six or three sets of five of the protracted push-up somewhere in your pressing game. It doesn't have to be number one exercise on the list, most definitely, but should be somewhere around the top three or top five exercises that you do in a pressing session. Should be a variation of the protracted push-up that's difficult enough for you to do about 
three sets, three to five sets, about five, six repetitions and get some proper stimulus in the serratus and in the delts. But mainly the sensation you should feel right freaking here. So first, master this. Fantastic move. And again, protraction is not this. You know, it's not flexing my spine. It's just depression, protraction, boom. There's nothing, no spinal movement involved. So make sure you're not doing this, bending to the gods of protraction while not actually doing the push-up. So make sure the push-up looks like this. We go. Oh, and for everybody who made it to the end of the video, congratulations, because now you can also join our freaking Facebook group. So we have amazing Facebook group of people who are actually training and are dedicated and are passionate and are not a bunch of sissies. So uh, if you want to be a member of a quality group that trains together and inspires each other, then make sure to click the link right here below the video and join our Facebook group. Thank you for your attention and your time. And remember, you're a champion. Boom. Get that serratus. Ooh, get that thumbnail, thumbnail.